So Mark, how long have you been in the industry? How many companies have you worked for? Oh, thank you for asking that question. <laughs> <laughs> this is my 30th year, I'm proud to 30 say. 30 years? Yes. I started at IMAX. I've had the uh, pleasure of working with Gilbert Freeman Films. I know. Sony Pictures with you. I know, we had some fun. And Wave Pictures, National Geographic, and for the last three years at Giant Screen Films and D3C. No, you work for everybody. I have. It wasn't you, wasn't part of the original plan, but you have stories. <laughs> I know you do. There are a few. Do you remember your first GSEA? I do. I do. It was um, 1988 in Chicago, Chicago at MSI, and I remember being there with a contingency of about 25 people from IMAX Corporation. <laughs> right. And I remember being in meetings where we were debating film deals with Lavalin, who opened the Montreal Theater. And I remember feeling that um, there's a hell of a lot of walking. <laughs> because the MSI in Chicago, of course, is so large. And there was a lot of walking. Um, and obviously a lot of screenings, and it was yeah. all in their dome. And uh, my first GSEA on one of the bus rides from the conference hotel to MSI, I sat next to the one and only Mike Day. Oh, God. And as we drove on Lakeshore, I saw on all the lampposts these banners for the film Great Barrier Reef. And Mike had me convinced that he put them out himself the night before. <laughs> and it wasn't until a few years later I that, that uh, Mike said, I didn't do that, the museum did. <laughs> That's great. Well, Mark, we were talking earlier about Sony, and there's this famous story before the Sony Theater opened. You start. Okay, so Sony Pictures got into the business and built a theater in New York and hired you to run it. And you and I had the IMAX background, Correct. and so we were always getting together to compare notes. Compare notes, because we spoke Phil. the same language. I had to verify your bosses. Why I you, traveled to see customers. I know. Your boss came to me and said, does Mark really have to make all these trips one by one to every theater? I said, yes, he does. Well, thank you again for that. <laughs> So, um, the first film that was produced by Sony Pictures was Rings of Courage, and it was directed by the famous director Jean-Jacques Henneau, and there was a test screening for pretty much all the senior Sony Pictures executives in Los Angeles and New York, and the Los Angeles executives all flew out on the corporate jet, and it was a big do, as you remember. That was a big deal. Oh and uh, the screening started, and Jean-Jacques Henneau was there, and and all these executives and you and I and many others, and a few minutes into the screening, the fire alarms went off in the theater. Because, of course, it was under construction and there's a union in, in uh, New York, so only the union guys could turn off the fire alarm and they'd gone to lunch. That's why we were having the screening. Couldn't get it off. Couldn't get it off. Oh, my God. It's, it felt like it was on for hours. And I was in the booth with Jean-Jacques Henneau and David Keeley. Jean-Jacques Henneau was just going crazy. My, my career is oh, My career, everybody out there is, I can't see it. David Keeley said, Mary Jane, I'll climb up the back steps, up at the top. I'll throw a blanket over the lights. And I was so desperate, I go, you can do that? Okay. <laughs> and then, then later I'm like, you can't do that. Or you'll, you'll kill yourself. Exactly. Oh my God. There's but so many Sony the stories. The film got finished, the theater opened, was obviously hugely successful. And Changed the industry in many ways. It, it really did. So, but that theater we ran 3D for so long. Um, we didn't even run the first 2D film till Everest came along. But that theater so that's really. About three or four or five years later. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, it's been a fun ride. Yeah. I'll never forget when I first started at IMAX in 1988. I went out in my first year and I visited every U.S. theater, which at the time I think there were 25 or 30 of them, and I went to all of them. One of my most memorable visits, most memorable visits, was when I went to the Detroit Science Center, and there was an executive director there at the time named Corey Van Fleet. And so, I had gone there, and he'd given me the tour of the whole science museum, like everyone did in those days, and and then the the booth and the theater, and then we went outside to the parking lot, and we were standing there, and and it was a really nice visit and a, and a great education, and he turns to me and he says, "What's your favorite color?" And I just said, I don't know, blue, I guess. And he said, mine is school bus orange. <laughs> and he turned, and there were all the buses in the parking yeah. lot. And that stayed with me, because it's so so much about what we do, and, yeah. and, and the education, and the, and the learning, and, and, and the entertainment all together. 
is about what we do, and that just stuck with me for 30 years. Well, that's a good thing to remember. It is. And of course, there were a lot of other fun things that <laughs> along the way. But I know. Some we can talk about, some we can't, but um, it's, it's been a, a hell of a ride. It's, I've been through it for the whole 40 years. Wow. From the very beginning, Hutchinson was my first theater. Wow. And I met Graham Ferguson in 1977 at a planetarium conference. And that's my first time I heard about IMAX, and I just couldn't wait to see it. Well, you know, starting in 1988, I was very lucky. I worked for the founders, and I obviously got to meet all of them and got to know them, and were part of some real revolutionary and pioneering things at IMAX uh, with uh, Rolling Stones at the Max. and. Titanica and all the all the things that happened there and good and bad but ended up being really good and and um, and I'll never forget I was uh, uh, Robert Kerr had be, sort of come back into the business as the CEO to run the company again and um, Fires of Kuwait oh, God, was being considered for an Academy Award nomination yeah. and in those days there was still no internet or even broadcast of nominations yet. And so I came in the office very, very early, about between 6 and 7 a.m. And I got the phone call from our publicist that Fires of Kuwait got nominated. And the first person I saw was Robert Kerr. And I got to tell him. And oh, I felt wow. so privileged because he was so joyous and so sincerely happy about it that I felt Wow, this was a great moment where I got to. Got that to was the first film ever things. to get nominated, right? One of the first, yeah. 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 One of the first. And, that uh, is fantastic. It was a great film and a great yeah, memory. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I was lucky I would, that to work for some of the other companies, to be with Sony when Sony was revolutionizing the industry. And and even N Wave, you know, did a lot of revolutionary things back in the late 90s and early 2000s. Yeah, absolutely. And then very lucky that that led to. 10 great years of National Geographic, so, and now Giant Screen Films. So it's been a really fun ride, and yeah. we've, we've seen a lot, you and I, and a handful of others. Well, for me, I came from the theater side, and I'm in the distribution side, and in the production side, all angles. What I remember most is that these conferences, these GSCAs, is the camaraderie yes. that we all feel. Like, when I see you, I. We're friends. From even the... even despite a bumpy start. <laughs> <laughs> Another great years. memory from my first year was when you were running the Omni Theater at the Museum of Science in Boston. Boston. Yeah. And I came on my first sales call. You had been not open for about a year. And the day I showed up, the projector crashed. <laughs> and you said, <laughs> This has never happened before. <laughs> You're oh, a jinx! Oh my god! <laughs> and there was another moment where I thought, okay, maybe I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Um, it was a great start to our relationship. It was a great start. <laughs> and, I mean, it's like, the people that we meet here, whether you're a theater, producer, film distributor, pro uh, in the vendor realm, we're all in it together. Absolutely. That's what I remember for the most was quality. Everybody, yes. everybody loved the format. And the quality, passion. The passion. And we're all about quality, and we're all in it together. So true. I- It's these, a true community. These conferences for me have been really a big important part of my whole career. Yeah. Because of this kind of thing. Yeah. And With all the really great new people coming into the industry, hopefully they're learning from people like us, but taking it to the next level, improving upon what's exactly. succeeded in the past, and hopefully keeping it going and telling their stories in 30 years when you I and I are- that. And nursing I mean, homes. I, I well, thanks, Mark. My I pleasure. I love reminiscing with you. My oh, pleasure. Oh, it's been fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks, Mark. Thank you, too.